Hello viewers, as I promised, uh, my online classes will continue on the 30th of this month. If you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content. But before then, let us solve this emoji mathematics altogether, which is right here on my screen. It is so far one of the best puzzles I've ever seen on Facebook. Uh, it comprises of uh, three statements. The first one represents a linear algebra. The second one represents a limit of a function. While the third one represents an integral calculus. But because I cannot draw all the emojis, let us represent each one of them by some variables. The first one is a set of three cups of beers, which are added up together to give three. So let's represent each one cup by A. So we have a plus A plus A and all of them equals 3 and the second one which is a limit of a function so we have limit so let us represent the donut with uh, n so n approaches infinity already we have our cup of beer to be equal to A so we have A plus uh, we have A again divided by uh, n which is donut raised to the power of n which is also a donut and the whole of this equal to a pizza so let us represent pizza with p in the last expression which is an integral calculus which is a definite integral of uh, the function there which is uh, pizza p raised to the power of um, this is an ice cream so let us represent ice cream with x so we have x dx but the upper bound is a natural logarithm of two cups of beer which is 2a multiplied by the pizza which is p and the lower bound is also natural logarithm of of p which is uh, the pizza solution equation number one Equation number one, we have a plus a plus a, which is equal to three. All together equals to three a's. Equals three. If you divide both sides by three, you are going to obtain the value of a to be equal to one. So therefore, a equals to one. So now let us substitute the value of a equals to one in the second equation in order to obtain uh, the value of this pizza. The limit as n approaches infinity of already we have gotten our a to be equal to 1 so we have 1 plus 1 divided by n to the power of n equals to p but from the knowledge of limit of a function this defines exponential exponential is a value which is approximately equals to 2. 718 if you want to confirm that this is an exponential you can substitute the value of n as n approaches infinity you can test for maybe 1 million so we have 1 plus 1 divided by 1 million to the power of 1 million you are going to obtain a value approximately equal to 2.718 which is a mathematics refers to as exponential donated by e so therefore we say p equals exponential so what we are going to do in order to solve the last statement we are going to substitute the values of a and the p in the last expression in order to solve this integral calculus so the last expression we have integral of p we have of 10 p to be exponential x dx but the upper bound is natural logarithm of 2a and each a is 1 so 2 times 1 is still uh, 2 but p is equal to e so we have the upper bound to be natural logarithm of 2 to e and the lower bound is the natural logarithm of e because p equals to e but remember if you integrate exponential x you are still going to get exponential x 
So we are going to have exponential x. We don't have to write the constant term because we are dealing with a uh, definite integral. So what we are going to bring back our lower and upper bounds. Natural log, natural log of e, natural log of 2e. We are going to substitute this upper and lower bound with x. And this will be equal to exponential instead of x we write the natural logarithm of 2e natural logarithm of 2e minus the lower bound which is exponential instead of x we write the natural log of e in my previous lesson i have shown you the relationship between exponential and logarithm if you have exponential to the natural log of a function is the same thing as that function so this cancel this equals two exponential minus the same thing this cancel this leaving only e so we have two e minus e equals e which is approximately equal to 2.718 for the last expression so in the first expression you have seen that a equals one in the second expression, you see the whole of this quantity equals to the exponential. And the last expression, which is integral calculus, it results to only the exponential. So this is all about it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.